of course, there is a consequence for those plans that are not properly maintained in good working order. And I noticed that the Department of Labor recently increased the penalties for ERISA violations assessed after August 1, 2016. When a penalty increases from $1,100 per day to $2,063 per day, that's considerably more than an inflation adjustment, isn't it? It is more than an inflation adjustment. That change in particular was responsive to parties that don't file their 5500s. So 5500 is the annual filing that's required for qualified retirement plans. You submit it to the Department of Labor. The IRS also takes, takes a view um, or takes a look. But yes, the, um, the, the Department of Labor recently raised a number of penalties associated with um, failures to maintain and operate plans in accordance with the rules. It's important also to note, though, that the, 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 uh, the, the IRS and the Department of Labor, they really want these plans to be operational. They want them to be running. They have an interest in having the average citizen have access to retirement savings and be able to save for those years down the road. And so they don't want these plans to be disqualified, and they want to provide tools that will allow plan sponsors to fix problems when they come up. So the example you just raised, Mike, was the increased fee for not filing a, a, a Form 5500. Well, rather than pay the full incentive, isn't there an incentive, Rachel, for companies to take advantage of the voluntary self-correction programs that the DOL and the IRS offer to retirement plans? There is an incentive. It's a very, um, it's a very powerful incentive. The, the DOL and the IRS want plan sponsors to come in of their own accord, acknowledge when things haven't gone perfectly, and give them the tools to be able to fix it. And there are robust arrangements that they offer that let those self-corrections happen for minimal or no cost. Um, the, ca the costs when you do go in for a formal correction are often capped, and that's because they want to work with employers. They want to give them the tools to be able to maintain and operate these plans and not make them so burdensome that there'll be an, a, a disincentive to provide a retirement plan for their employees.